Welcome back. And we are trying to find where... What was the name again? Glad oh, Gladys. Don't even try to speak her last name. Gladys is. And I have a pretty sure feeling, uh, feeling, feeling that she is in that uh, building right now. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, we can try this one. You read, you read to aren't you? Some said you might be able to tell me where I could. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? I? I have the feeling she's down there some below because I know this person. Can we maybe go there already? Nope, there's not just a door. I thought you. Eh. Well, wrong intuition. Let's try to talk with him. Cripple Reto. What do you want? You are Reto, and you blah Gladromir Schladis? No, Gladys Schladromir. Schladromir. Oh, I see. Why didn't you say so? Haha. <laughs> It's an easy mistake to make. So, do you know her? Nope. Excuse me, but Sam just told me you spoke to her recently and you're saying you don't know her? Haha, -ha, you should take anything that old fool says seriously. He pickled his brain in Moonshine a long time ago. Now, what I mean, I can't help you really. I really can't. Wait a minute, I think Google to Yellick said something about Gladys Yellick. Ask him. Oh dear. So, you're looking for Gladys, are you? Oh my god, you look so rapey and shady. Yes, I really need to speak with her, but one minute everybody. But one minute everybody knows her, then nobody does. If you know where I can fly this, please tell me, it's really important. Uh, not sure, I don't know. You could be a spy from the town guard. Now, what? Best just forget it. Shouting too loud for Gladys can end up badly. We don't want that to do, we? That's it. Tell me where she is right now. Hold your horses. I don't want any trouble in my tavern. It's so difficult to get blood out of the wooden floor. But nobody cares about that. Soapstone will take care of it. Puh. Don't worry, Ibram. But back to you, stranger. I can tell you where Gladys is. For one simple reason, because I don't know. Just relax, have a nice mug of Ferrogel, and you probably go got enough fatings on you. I hope to see you. Question it. Elm voice make. Just forget it. No need to make fool of me. Someone seems to be offended. <laughs> what? Okay. So it seems. I counter. What do you have? What happened if I drink one? Wait, we are just to go down downstairs. Somebody comes to talk to us. Nothing happened? Okay. Uh, what happened if I drink one? I'm just trying. Where is she now? What are you? Okay, I'm very confused. I thought I knew it, knew it, but it seemed wrong. <sighs> I really thought I have it. I really thought, but no. Seems I'm not gonna. Be ah, Gladys is difficult to find. Those thieves are as thick as. Well, thieves. I'd like to go back in there again and teach those fellas a lesson. I had no problem against that. Wait, yes. What do you want? Nothing, right? Are you following me? Me? What are you talking about? I'm just stretching my legs a bit. Hang on. What do you want? What do you Blah blah blah. Calm down. We are just going the same way. So I'm pretty sure now, Swiss. 
Okay. What do you Good want? Stop, stop falling by, you know. Same way. <laughs> oh, I'm, I hate this person already. Oh, look, it's Forbram the Dwarf. What? And he's even sober this time. How many men did it take to drag you away from the ale cast to get you here? At least I'm not so pretty to pick pot who has to creep through the sewers all the time. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, you must be... Okay. Ah, oh, you must be me, my little kitty. I often spoke of you. Go to. Everything's alright. You can go back now. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem, Gladys. Anything for you. Say hello to Ke Keno for me. See? See you. Welcome to Forlock. Even though it's a sad occasion for you. For both of us. Must be. I need to know how to speak English. But why do you want to meet with me? Why, well, I want to clear up Ardo's murder and I thought you might be able to help me. For Ardo? Yes, of course. I helped you. I've done a little research for both my own. Unfortunately, with my limited success. Could I ask you something? Go ahead. What do you know about the murders? They say there has been a series of murder in Clone Ardos, but there are several things about it, about it that seems a bit fishy to me. What do you mean? I don't know for sure, but there is something wrong with the whole thing. I just... just such. Could I ask you something? Go ahead. How well did you know Ardo? Ardo loved me for a long time when I was younger. He taught me so much about mid, mid realm, particularly about the self important synopsis. He always called it noble class. He, 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 you know, of course, that he was cut from the very coarse clothes for. that he was cut from very coarse clothes for noble man. He told me that he found learning to write very difficult. And that he really only did it because it was essential for some of his death. <laughs> but all we said that maybe more than once a moon was nonsense and heresy. But I'm probably not telling you anything you don't really already know. I have him to thank for my stubbornness and my store of Celsius details about where, where is my mess of nobility. I miss him a lot. And my fucking voice is dying. Go ahead. Thank you for the mission. Why do you why do you want to research search? Why don't we search for Arthur's murder together? Yes, you're right. Let's go. Yes, Gladys short powder. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um here we go. Let's give her The cool thing is she's also a magician. And I really like me. Mm. Human talk pickpocket uh, to the level of uh, fast talker, human haggle, seduce. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> so kind of so sounds like Tracer. Uh, find out his murders as well, look unpunished. Collect information about Otto. Was found on the flat fort Bedford. I've got to look around the murder. Let's go to you the harbor. There should be some information for us. Let's see what's in the chest. We have to do some serious level upping. Do do. Yalvin, what are you doing here? I told you it was over what between thing? us. But I love you, Jessica. Please don't believe the lies hey guys, Finn is telling you. I smell a quest. You're just jealous. Finn loves me. I've heard him whispered a thousand times. Can't you see he's only using you, Jessica? You're nothing more than another conquest to him. I, on the other hand, will always love you. I'm not listening to any more of this, Yalvin. I've got to get to work. Leave me alone. But Jessica... Oh, Jessica. What is this? Wait. I 
Let's try. Can she get something? Yeah, here we go. Some fluff fluff. Okay. However, let's go on. Yeah, that's the right direction we want to take. Uga Ugandan Harbor. <laughs> what a name. Ah, oh, Ugandan Knuckle. Dun, 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 dun. On my way to Avestru, I heard talk of an infamous Siemens Inn here. I should have listened to her. Chicken. I don't can we can we not kill the animal? It would be cruel, but we could at least get lever and would be hilarious kind of too. Do -do. This is the Siemens Inn, the fleet footed ferret. Let's go inside and enjoy a tankard or two. They have fair dog pale ale here too. Let's go in and refresh our spirits. It would be a nice change to see you sober for once. Oh, but there was a cute conversation. <laughs> Juicy Lucy. Somewhere around here should be. Am I blind? Is it on the other side? Well, damn. Go on the other side. I'm asking myself, does it turn every llama light? Hello, believe it. Now he's even getting rude. Yeah, yeah, you baby turn the dog. Shut off, crazy. Salam. What was that about? Cool to mind, my fish mush gala. Uh, how say misunderstanding, nothing more. Salamu alaikum, peace be with you. Hmm, not suspicious at all. I knew the dragon, it would have taken several strong guys to take him down. He must have tried to defend himself. Look, everything is smashed to pieces. We should take a look around. The attacker might have left something behind. Yeah, good idea. Here we go, tell us what. Question. I'm pretty sure that's it. Sandor Kruger was found in the back courtyard of the fleet for a I've got to look around the murder scene. Talk to the people and the ferrets. Ferret, let's talk to the people. Some of them has got some information on it. You look like someone in the search of adventures, someone who'd like to explore the world. Can I make all your dreams to the world come true in the right purchase of my wonderful ship and set off? Bad. A ship? Hmm, doesn't sound bad. What's the offer? Well, this excellent ship behind me is for sale. It's second hand about it for all this condition. I could give it just to, for you just to tell. I'm sorry, but I don't have enough money. We can consider when you can. An offer like this doesn't come along very often. Just think of all the treasures you find on your adventures. Okay, I remember that, that twat. He's gonna sell us that little ship wreck down there. That little boat. I'm not that dumb. I'm smart. Galandor Supanez is my name. And I have exotic goods. Ah, it's Finnish purse. See. Uh, what we could sell. For Amazon Pride. Don't know, do we actually need that? We definitely would not need that. Bear skin, snails. 
do you have anything? What do you have? Mm, perfume. Look at that. And we are horrible. I need drama back or at least less. Oh, right. Um sure. that tracer. The Lamu Okay. I'm pretty sure we will get we will become important at some point with us. Normally let's go in here and try to talk to some people, maybe they know something. Bim, 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 bim. Bim, bim. Here we go. Yes? What do you want? I'm looking for someone who might have heard something about the murder of Sando Kunger. Kunger? The dragon. He is, was, as he known was, was killed behind the tavern. Oh no, I'm terrible sorry. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I can't help you. Allow me to introduce myself. Garnel is my name. Gordon Garnel. I'm just thirsty. I'm just a thirsty trader passing through. But tell me, you look someone who could do with high quality set of hand brushes. Well, the handles are fashionably fashioned of finest pine wood, while the bristles are made well of real. Uh, I'm sorry, it is a, it is a point. You have enough important meeting. Farewell. Wait. Uh, as you're such a nice customer, I throw in this free box of soap. How is that's offer? No, that's an offer. You can't refuse. Truly tempting, but I really need to go. See you soon. Good day. What'll it be? First of all, nice face. You look beautiful. And, yeah. Nothing right now, thank you. My name is Mimi Aldrich. Why do I have introduced myself? I'm investigating in the murder of Dragon. He was found near his this tavern. Can you tell me what happened? Pah! Just stroll into my bar and, and happen to be investigating our Sandro's murders. Sandro's murders? Sorry, but I don't have anything important to tell you. Please, anything could be important. I just want to ask a couple questions. I won't bother you for long. Was Sandro Kuga often a customer here? Yes, he was. Here, quite a lot. A lot of, a lot of old, e old Iman players drink here. Was there any trouble between the dragons and the other customers? Maybe, maybe not. I have enough to do just serving my customers. I don't have time to spy on them. By my grandfather's drunk beard, Paul Bush, you must, <coughs> you must have noticed something. You know, the dragon, uh, the dragon didn't have any enemies. What more he had? The strength of the free man, his killer must have been giant, and they must have made a almighty record outside. Maybe. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. One of the customers can tell you. Maybe one of the customers can tell you something. Do you want a drink? Nothing more, thank you. He's thinking, yeah, just annoying me. No, you basically fuck off the banks, nothing. Things to What the heck was that? Oh. I've got to work. No time. Aline, I'm Farogim, son of. I couldn't care less who you are. Can't you see I'm busy? What a bitch. Hello. What do you want? I'm looking for someone who might have heard something about the murder of Dragon. He, he was found behind the tavern murdered. I'm sorry, I hadn't ever go to the flat. Oh, my voice hurts. I hadn't ever go to the flat fruited ferret, and I don't know the person you're talking about. But good luck in your search. Here we go. Can't you see you're interrupting? I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm looking for someone who might have heard something about the murder of Sander Conger with dragons as he was known as he was known was killed here behind the tavern. I can't tell you nothing about dragons murder. I didn't see nothing. I did not hear nothing. Who's annoying? It's me. I'm looking for someone who might have heard something about the murder of Sander Conger the dragon as he was known was as he was known was killed behind the tavern. 
I got nothing to say to you. Now get out of here. Can we talk to you now? I've got a. Lava. Aha! I see you're interested in the brush set with a free box of soap lotion. Oh. What? I'm sorry. Okay, nothing in here. Just get the heck out of here. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Wait. Oh, she can talk. Yes? I heard you asking about Sander. Are you investigating in his murder? Yes, I'm investigating it. All the all these gruesome murders. We are where are you friend of where you are friend of Santa Kroger's? Yes, my name is Ellen. I am his I was his girlfriend. Could I ask you a few more questions? Why wow, you are truly gentle, my meme Adric, just like oh I'm sorry, like I feel so bad for you. May, maybe can I ask you some question? He straight goes for Can I ask you some question? Please do. What do you why did you run after me instead of talking to me right away? Head guardsman Tussman told me not to talk about the murder. He questioned me and he told me and told me he would be taking care of everything in person, but he hasn't turned up again since then. When I heard that you were asking about my dragon, I had to speak with you. If Tushman can deal with things, then I might as well help you. I could ask you could I ask you a few more questions? Please do. Fulcrum told me that you found Sandor. Yes, it was a terrible sight. I was typing, tipping out the tavern's dirty ward, and there was he was, my beloved friend. I never forget that awful image. My god, my good strong dragon butchered so horribly. I. there must have been more than one of them, and they must have been surprised that all the barrels had been smashed. My dragon fought for his life. Oh, Sandor, why did he have did he have to die? Could I ask you for me? <clears throat> My voice is cranking. Could I ask you a few more questions with no emotions? Um, please do. Did Sandor have enemies? Did he tell you about problems? No, he was really popular, even though he hung out with a sh that shady characters that he frequently, fr that he frequented with fleet, flat-footed Farron. Everybody respected him. Yep, more questions. Please do. Your boyfriend had a really unusual nickname. Is it true that he got it because he un because of its un of his unusual strength? Sander never really talked about that. Some people said that he bore the name Dragon because he swept across the Emain field like a dangerous beast. But I think it had something to do with the talisman he wore around his neck. Yeah. He was one of the best loved Iman players in all of Kosh. Many different people spoke of him, even noble folk. Just the other day, Finn, and Fer Finn of Ferdog invited him to a meal right after an important game. He even once had an audience with Count Grobin after winning the final of the last championship. He often rewarded about the that evening. Everybody talked about my darling Drake and now he's gone forever. Could I ask you a few more questions? Please do. And do you know anything about the other murders either? I'm sorry, no. I can't help you there. I don't even want to know what happened to these poor souls. The sights of my poor murdered dragon lying there still will stay full. Blah. Lying there will stay with me forever. Could I ask you a few more questions? Please do. Um, is this the talisman as well? Yes. That's it. Did you find it in this in the, the scene? The talisman meant a lot of Sandor. He didn't usually wear it openly, but he always had it on the bed beneath his clothes. He often joked that he gave him the strength to play. Well, on in in Manfield. When I found his body, he wasn't wearing it anymore. I told Head Gersman about it, but he didn't seem very interested. You can keep it. Maybe it will lead to his murder. 
please do. Okay. Yes, we did some progress. And it seems we have to retreat back. Eric's murders, father of the friend. Okay. So we actually achieved something. On on that note, we end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you around. Bye bye.